In this video, we're going to talk about the exact tools you need in order to create VFX in the most efficient way possible. This is my fourth video in my free six part VFX training series. So if you haven't seen the other four, be sure to go back and watch those first. If you want access to all six videos, then click the link in the description below. I show you how to lay a good foundation that will be essential to create VFX the right way. And I have even talked about which computers do you need in order to create epic VFX without breaking the bank and get epic VFX results. If you are here to learn visual effects or you just want to get better or more efficient at it, you're definitely at the right place. So let's talk about the software for visual effects. Think of these softwares as tools to make your life easier. Picking the right one is definitely going to help you a long way, but it doesn't necessarily mean to avoid the other ones later on. First, you just need to have a good foundation. So the most popular 3D software out there are Maya, 3ds Max, Blender, Houdini, Cinema 4D, Lightwave, Modo. I've played a little bit in most of them. I had my first hands-on with a 3D software, which was 3ds Max, then it was Lightwave, and I just did not like them at all. That was just my personal opinion. I'm not saying they're bad softwares. You can do everything you need to know in there, but I just opened Cinema 4D and I was just sold. It just looks more user-friendly, more efficient, and it can literally do everything I needed to do. They are investing so much time and effort in making everything efficient and also user-friendly in order to create epic results in a really logical and efficient way. I just like how Cinema 4D is laid out, how it is efficient and easy to learn, and yeah, I don't feel overwhelmed. When I opened other softwares, I literally felt overwhelmed just looking at the interface. I don't know if it's just me, but I didn't have that with Cinema 4D. I have never regretted my choice on picking that software as my 3D software of choice. The reason why other artists might choose other software is, for example, Maya is being used in bigger production companies, so when you're working with hundreds of other artists, you want to work with the same software and make it as efficient as possible to share projects within uh, your production. So Maya is definitely a great software when you're working in that industry, but the biggest reason is that they have been using it for many years and changing the software is a really expensive cost because you have hundreds of artists that now work for you and changing the software means that now 100 people have to actually learn that new software and that also costs time and effort. So they are not doing that because they have built their entire infrastructure around the Maya 3D software, for example. If I look at the industry, 3ds Max is really being used for the game industry. Blender is being used because it's free and it's also pretty solid as a 3D software. I've seen amazing things being created in there. I just personally don't feel that it's so user-friendly and I've spent some time in there and some things just don't make sense. And that's my personal experience. I don't want to belittle any software, they're all great. But Cinema 4D can do everything in a very efficient way possible. And every time Cinema 4D comes with an update, it's literally to make a difficult process easier and more efficient. And that's what I like about it. So what you need to do is think where you see yourself as a VFX artist. If you see yourself as a generalist that likes to do everything in the VFX pipeline, Cinema 4D or Blender are a great choice. In my case, that will be Cinema 4D as I find it more efficient and it just saves me more time or if you see yourself working for a bigger company. In that case, you will have to figure out what that company is using as a software and focus on that software. If you want to do your own projects or you want to be a freelancer or a creator, Cinema 4D is also a great choice for that. They also have an amazing deal if you have the Adobe Creative Suite with After Effects. You can get Maxon 1, which comes with Cinema 4D and Redshift Render Engine, which is a render engine that makes things more efficient and also renders more photo real. And you also get a bunch of plugins for Adobe After Effects, so they really work together very well. Imagine that you're working on a project and it takes you three days to finish that entire project. Now, after some time, you learn a thing or two and you become more efficient at creating that same project, but now instead of three days, you're only spending one. Does that mean that you're charging three times less? No, that means that you can charge the exact same amount and you now have become more efficient at it. Okay, so now pay close attention because in the next video, I'm going to share the complete plan from start to finish. I'm going to share you my signature process in order to create VFX in the most efficient way possible. 
I'm literally going to open up my curtains and show you every single step you need to take in order to succeed. Honestly, you don't want to miss that video because I'm literally going to share the entire game plan with you. That's it for this video and don't forget VFX is hard but it doesn't have to be if you know exactly which steps to take. See you in the next one, until then create epic videos. If you want access to all 6 videos then click the link in the description below.